Messed Up is brought to you by Ego Main. Welcome to the latest episode of Messed Up. We are at the end of our first round of contestants. And today we have Jake and Jordan from Sacrepee Valley School. And we have Lynn and Abby from Maine Central Institute. So thank you both teams for joining us today. We are going to be challenging both teams in their knowledge of math, engineering, science, and technology. And whoever comes out on top today, well, you will likely be back. But remember, you're not just competing against each other, you are competing against all 10 other 10 teams that we have already seen come through here. So if you guys are all set, we're going to start with the brain battle. The brain battle consists of 10 questions worth five points each. So we've got a total of 50 points up for grabs here. You don't lose any points for answering incorrectly and it's whoever buzzes in first that gets a chance to answer first. And so let's start with the brain battle. First question, which of the following is a second quadrant angle in standard position? Red team. A for 500. That's correct. Second question, the Meissner effect is most directly associated with which of the following? Red team. C, very strong electromagnets. Correct. And red team? D, Tesla cars. The correct answer is A, superconductors. <laughs> in which of the following lakes in North America would you typically find a thriving community of halophiles and alkalophiles? Red team. A, Lake Michigan. Incorrect. Uh, B, Mono Lake, California. That is correct. Number four, changing computer language of ones and zeros to characters that a person can understand is known as what? Red team. D code, C. That's correct. Which of the following is not true of matrices? Blue team. B, a matrix does not have to have a numbers. Incorrect. Red team. D, a matrix must be square in order to have an inverse? Correct. The correct answer is C, a matrix that does not have an inverse is called non-singular. Question six. Early developments of this extremely popular device began as early as 1901 with Spanish engineer Leonardo Torres Quevedo. Blue team. Uh, is the answer A, electronic calculator? It is not. Red team. C, remote control. That is correct. <laughs> Very popular. <laughs> Question seven. Most VOCs or volatile organic compounds are? Blue team. A, hydrocarbons. That is correct. Question eight. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.rmain.com is an example of what? Um, Red team. A, a URL. That is correct. <laughs> and question nine, which of the following is a quadratic equation with a root of multiplicity of two? Red team. A. Correct. And how fast is the speed of light? Blue team. C. 300,000 kilometers per second. That is correct. That's the end of our brain battle, but before we add up the scores, we're going to go straight to the video question brought to you by Winter Kids. 
What kind of condition warrants a blizzard? A, below zero temperatures. B, 12 inches or more of falling snow. C, winds of 35 miles per hour with blowing snow. Or D, all of the above. Blue team. Is it the answer C, winds greater than 35 miles an hour with blowing snow? That is correct. Yay. Yep. So 20 points goes to the blue team. So at the end of the brain battle and the video question, the blue team is ahead by 10 points with 35 points, red team 25 points. And when we come back, we'll be heading into the engineer this challenge where 40 points are up for grabs. Hey folks, it's Leo from EcoMain. Back at you with another question. What is e-waste? Okay, if you guessed e-waste stands for electronic waste, you're absolutely right. It's made up of computers, cell phones, old TVs, anything that used to be electronic that you can't use anymore. Please, don't put it in your garbage or your recycling bin. Bring it back to your transfer station or the store in which you got us. Help us out. And welcome back to Messed Up. We are about to head into the Engineer This Challenge. The blue team is ahead by 10 points with 35 points on the board so far. Red team at 25 points. But before we head into Engineer This, we want to get to know our teams just a little bit better. So we'll start with Lynn and Abby. So uh, welcome, guys. And so outside of the classroom, you guys are obviously very studious. Um, what do you guys like to do? Are there any sports teams or clubs after school? Um, I'm in K-pop, student council, and I also participate in the jazz band. Oh wow, so very busy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm actually part of a pre-professional ballet program, as well as Key Club and Model UN and Destination Imagination. Wow, well. excellent. So, and do you want to give any of your teachers a shout out at this point? Uh, we just want to say thank you to Ms. Kearney. Because she's the reason we're here. Yeah. <laughs> she happens to be in the audience. She's, yeah, she's yes. here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we also would like to shout out to the core four, um, which are the four teachers that have taught us. Um, Mr. Tyson, Tyson, Mrs. Brown, Mrs. Libby, and Ms. McEwen. All right, excellent. Thanks, guys. And over to Jake and Jordan, same thing. Are you guys, do you, what do you do after school and, and outside of the classroom to keep yourselves busy and out of trouble? I'm part of uh, NHN Student Council and I play football and run track. All right, so the football season just coming to an end. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm also an NHS and Student Council and I do soccer, softball, and karate. Oh, wow. Very busy. Everybody's very busy. My goodness. And what about for you guys? Shout outs? Uh, shout out to Mr. Staples, chemistry teacher, and Mr. Burnett for being here with us. <laughs> Excellent. Shout out to Mr. Burnett, my calc teacher. Yeah, I like it when we get the teachers in the audience. No pressure, right guys? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, without any uh, further ado, we're going to head into the Engineer This Challenge. For details on the challenge, I'm going to toss it over to scientist Tom Long. Thanks, Sarah. We're here at Elements in Bitterford, and welcome to the Egg Drop Challenge. Each team will select three of the five items on the table to create a protective shell around your egg, we will drop those eggs from different heights. Team whose egg survives the longest wins. Good luck. Back to you. Thank you, Tom. And if you guys are all set, do you have any questions? No. Nope. 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 Then here are your eggs. Treat them carefully. And your five minutes start now. Yeah. <laughs> 
got one minute left. I just don't want to impact anyone at all. See any like weak spots in it? Okay, let's see. Um, this will impact the top of this way. This is the top of that way. You have the bottom covered. That should hold it in. It shouldn't, like, as long as it drops, it's dropped this way. Yeah. It should be okay. I'm just afraid of the Do you think that's gonna work? Yeah, yeah. I'm just so. Yeah, it's pretty productive. Wait, put enough tape on it. 15 seconds. Five, yeah. four, three, <laughs> two, one. My favorite engineering challenges are when the teams come up with something entirely different. <laughs> I love it. Wow. We're really going to be able to see what works and, and maybe what doesn't. All right. <laughs> yeah. So let's go measure. And we're going to start with the blue team with the egg drop challenge. If you guys are all set, we're going to start with one foot and then keep going up by a foot at a time. All right, go right ahead. Looks good. Yep, yeah. all right. Go up to two feet. <laughs> uh, that one didn't sound as good. <laughs> Did it live? This is where it landed. I think we're all set. Yeah. All right. We're good. Can I go? Three feet. We'll just drop it straight. Yeah. It's up at the bottom of the. Yep. Yep. All right. Four feet. Oh, great. <laughs> Ooh. Is this going to be a record? Yeah, that sounded, that sounded pretty good. Right. Yeah, it's good. Nice. All right. <laughs> Ooh. That didn't sound very good, but I don't Did it see anything. Oh, it's cracked. Right there. Let's see. Oh, it is. Yeah. 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 Let's see. Oh, good try. So 40 points to the blue team. That brings you to 75. Red team at 25 points. And when we come back, we'll be heading into the grid of destiny with many more points up for grabs. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to Messed Up. We are about to head into the grid of destiny. The blue team ahead with 75 points, red team at 25 points, and of course, many points up for grabs here. The grid of destiny is made up of four columns, one for math, one for engineering, one, one for science, and one for technology. In each of those columns, you get four questions, an increasing point value and difficulty as well. The team that is ahead gets to pick the first question, but anybody can buzz in and answer. Same as the brain battle, you do not lose points for answering incorrectly. Are you guys all set? All right, blue team, where should we start? Okay. We'll take uh, engineering for 15. Okay. What name is given to an appliance designed to protect electrical devices from voltage spikes? Blue team. B, surge protector. Correct. <laughs> Your choice again. Engineering for 20, please. Okay. In electrical engineering, what is the instrument which displays the phase of the colors in a color TV? Red team. Um, a oh, LCD. red team, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, we think A, LCR meter. Incorrect. Blue team. Uh, we'll try D, vector scope. That is correct. And blue team, your choice. <laughs> All right. 25. Mainly used for surveying applications, what name is given to a precision instrument for measuring angles in the horizon and vertical planes? Blue team. B, theodolite. That's correct. Mm -hmm. And blue team? Might <laughs> <laughs> as well. Kill engineering. Finish out engineering, yeah. all right. What name, it's, you're going strong, so. What name is given to a wooden beam used as a support within a mine shaft or tunnel? Red team. Uh, B. Pit prob. Correct. <laughs> and red team, over to you. Your choice. Cyan for 15. Which of the following molecules would have the most peptide bonds? Red team. D. DNA. 
Incorrect. Oh, it's and blue team. A, glycogen? Incorrect. The correct answer is B, hemoglobin. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, blue team, we're back to you. Your choice. We'll go uh, technology for 15. Okay. Computers calculate numbers in what mode? Um, Red team. C, binary. Correct. Red team, your choice now? Um, cyan for 20. Okay. Which of the following most directly addresses that a gas of low density, when excited, will emit light of a certain wavelength? Blue team. B, Bode's second law. Incorrect. <laughs> D, Balmer's law. Incorrect. The correct answer is A, Kirchhoff's second law. <laughs> And blue team, we're back to you. We'll just do 10. <laughs> math for 10. All right, start off math slowly here. Yeah. Tom has seven times as many crayons as Dick and three times as many as Harry. If Dick has less than 21 crayons, what is the maximum number of crayons that Tom can have? Blue team. 140? Incorrect. Red team. Um, two. two. Incorrect. The correct answer is 105. And red team, we're back to you. Math 15. What is the smallest of four consecutive odd integers whose sum is 968? Blue team. B, 239. Correct. Nailed it. <laughs> Blue team, your choice. We will try science for 10. All right. Which of the following gases will have the lowest freezing point? Red team. A, hydrogen. Incorrect. Blue team. Uh, D, carbon dioxide. Incorrect. The correct answer is C, helium. Uh, red team, we're back to you. Sure. Sign 25. All right. Which of the following is both fluorescent and radioactive? Um, D. Zircon. Correct. Your, Your choice, choice again. again. Math, Tony. All right. Jack is now seven times as old as Jill. If 10 years from now, he will be three times as old as Jill. How old is Jack now? Blue team. Uh, is the answer D, 35? It is. And blue team, your choice. Do math for 25. Math for 25. A small square region inside a larger square is shaded. The diagonal of the larger square is three times the diagonal of the small square in length. What fraction of the area of the larger square is not shaded? Red team. C, 2 over 3. Incorrect. And blue team. Uh, B, 1 third. Incorrect. The correct answer is D, 8 ninths. Uh, red team, your choice. Um, technology for 20. Okay, the speed of your net access is defined in terms of Red team. Um, is that A, RAM? It is not. Blue team? Yeah, go back. C, uh, kilobytes per second? Correct. Blue team, your choice. We'll do uh, technology for 25. All right. The letters DOS stand for which of the following? Blue team. D, data operating system? Incorrect. Um, Red team. C, this operating system. That is correct. And now we have one left. <laughs> Technology for 10. How many bits in a byte? D32. Incorrect. Blue team. C, 16. Uh, incorrect. The correct answer is B, 8. 
At the end of the grid of destiny, the blue team still ahead at 190 points, red team at 100 points. Here's where we head into the end game question, though, where both teams get to wager their points. Remember, you're not just competing against each other today. You are competing against all of the other 10 teams that have come before you as well. So keep that in mind as you show me your wagers. And before we head to break, I'll tell you the end game question is math. We'll be back right after this. Hey there everyone, it's Leo here from EcoMain and I'm standing out back behind our recycling facility next to a whole bunch of bales of recycled goods. Now, I got a question for you. This right here is PET, but what does PET actually stand for? Do you know? If you guessed polyethylene terephthalate, guess what? You're absolutely right. PET, polyethylene terephthalate, is the exact chemical composition that these, typically soda bottles or water bottles, are made out of. Welcome back to Messed Up. We are heading into the end game question. I have wagers from both teams now. They both know that the end game question is math. We, they will have three minutes to solve the question and then they will show their answers and let's get right to it. Kevin has played a few games of 10 pin bowling. In the third game, Kevin scored 80 more than in the second game. In the first game, Kevin scored 110 less than the third game. His total score for the first two games was 208. If he wants an average score of 146, what must he score on the fourth game? Your three minutes start now. Circle your answers. <laughs> All right. So let's start with the red team. Red team, you have 100 points. And let's see what your answer was. If you'll hold it up and show it to the camera, then read it off. 48. That is incorrect. And you wagered 10, 10. points. And so you guys are at 90 points. A respectable score. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's go to the blue team. And uh, you guys have 190 points. And? We have the ballpark score of 80. The ballpark <laughs> score. <laughs> there is an eight, it's 187. That is the final answer. And you guys wagered 30 points, which brings you to 160. So you guys win four today, congratulations. Thank you. And again, you Thank are you. competing against all of the teams. And so good job today. Thank you. Perhaps we will Thank see you. you back in the next round, which we start coming up next week. The final eight teams that will go on in the semifinals before we hit the final round. So thank you to both teams for coming out today. Good jobs. And if you would like to watch previous episodes of Messed Up, you can always head to messedup.tv. And we'll see you back here next week. Up 
is brought to you by Ego Maine.